The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you both Amen. now and forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you those who helped us in the rosary today. And God bless you all abundantly. And uh, every other person who is already functioning for the success of this liturgy, the admin and the others. We pray that God will bless every one of us through today's midnight mass through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We now invite Mr. Innocent to help us with the items. Catholic Handbook 1. Catholic Handbook 1. All people that on earth do dwell, sing to the Lord with cheerful voice. In salvation, he is great for them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. It's Mary and it should be there. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning, Father. I welcome you all to this Eucharistic celebration. Today we are celebrating the Mass of Wednesday of week one in ordinary time. And in a very special way, we are praying for our various intentions, intentions of all the members of this Holy Trinity Adoration Ministry and the online wind, online wind of it, the Global Midnight Mass family. We pray that God Almighty May grant all of us our hard desires through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray for the intentions of those who booked Mass for the month of January, for those who trust in the efficacy of our prayers in this ministry and in this platform, for all those who rely so much on the sacrifices we make in the midnight mass. We pray that God may grant them their high desires. For every one of you who are present in this mass at this time, I lift up my priestly anointed hand and I pray 
that God Almighty has bestowed upon you and your families graces and favors that a human being cannot give through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. To prepare ourselves worthily for this holy celebration, let us call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and mercy. <coughs> Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Attend to the plea of your people with heavenly care. O oh Lord, we pray that they may see what must be done and get strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, we live and rest with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May we be seated for the first reading to be taken by Jacinta Ifi. A reading from the book of Hebrews, chapter 2, verse 14 to 18. Since the children share in flesh and blood, Jesus himself likewise partook of the same nature, that through death he might destroy him who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and deliver all those who through fear of death were subject to lifelong bondage. For surely it is not with angels that he is concerned, but with the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he has to be made like his brethren in every respect, so that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God. To make expiation, for the sins of the people. For because he himself has suffered and been tempted, he is able to help those who are tempted. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's consider a psalm. The right form is. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Give thanks to the Lord. Proclaim his name. Make known to him this among the people. Oh, sing to him. Sing his praise. Tell all his wonderful words. Rest strong. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Glory in his holy name. Let the heart that seeks the Lord rejoice. Thanks to the Lord and his strength. Constantly seek his face. Rest strong. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. O children of Abraham. Servants, O descendants of Jacob, he told me, He the Lord is our God. His judgments are in all the earth. Respond. The Lord remembers his covenant.
forever. He remembers his covenant forever. The promise he ordained for a thousand generations. The covenant he made with Abraham. The oath he swore to Isaac. Response. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord, and I know them, and they follow me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory be glory to you, O Lord. Mark's Gospel, chapter 1, from verse 29. To 39. At that time, Jesus left the temple and entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law lay sick with a fever. And immediately they told him of her. And he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. And the fever left her. And she served them. That evening, at sundown, they brought to him all who were sick or possessed with demons and the whole city was gathered together about the door and he healed many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons and he would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him. And in the morning, a great while before dawn, he rose and went out to a lonely place, and there he prayed. As Simon and those who were with him followed him, and they found him and said to him, Everyone is searching for you. And he said to them, Let us go on to the next towns, that I may preach there also. For that is why I came out. And he went throughout all Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and casting out demons. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. By the hearing of this gospel, may our sins be blotted out. Amen. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Yeah. Honor to Mary. Dear friends in Christ, the mystery of God's love for man is seen in Jesus Christ. 
who is the incarnation of God, who condescended to take human flesh, to be like us, he took upon himself everything of ours, except sin. This divine union between man and God in the person of Jesus Christ brought man salvation from the powers of death. Such a union makes Jesus our brother in faith and precisely the faith of Abraham. The mercy of God comes to us through this union since he has passed through our nature, he understands how we feel. He understands how we, what we pass through. And it becomes very easy for his mercy to reach out to us. The benefits we have from this union are many. In fact, they are uncountable. This is why Jesus goes around doing good and healing all kinds of infirmities. We must today utilize the grace of this union and the adoption we have in Christ by faithfully and spiritually inviting him into our homes and into our hearts every moment of the day. Let us never at any point in time lose sight of the importance of Jesus Christ in our lives. We must at all times ask ourselves, who is Jesus for me? What is Jesus saying to me about my life today? And what can I do in response to his invitation for me to share in the mystery of his life? We pray that we may bear abundant fruits, especially in this year 2021. For according to John chapter 15 verse 2, cut off from him, we can do nothing. But remain his, when we remain in branches, we will bear fruit. Let us bring bread together on our knees. Let us bring bread together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, oh Lord, have mercy on me. Let us drink wine together on our knees. Let us drink wine together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, oh Lord, have mercy on me. Let us praise God together on our knees. Let us praise God together on our knees. When I fall on my knees, with my face to the rising sun, oh Lord, have mercy on me. Let us breathe breath together on my knees. Let us break bread together on our knees. When I fall on my knees, it's the day to the rising sun. Oh Lord, have mercy on me. Pray, brethren, that.
that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just that duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him, you, you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and the dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed the holy, O Lord, the heart of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, if this we pray, by sending thy your spirit upon them that did before, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, <clears throat> Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God, have mercy on me. My Lord and my God, have mercy on me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your faith, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and pray out the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Alfred Matthias, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters 
who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our Holy Spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command of God by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, thy kingdom come. That you be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and glory are yours now forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her Peace and the unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Those on Facebook, you type in peace be with you. And those in the Zoom community, a wealth offering of peace to each other is welcomed. And may the peace of Christ be upon each and every one of you, wherever community you may be, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. <coughs> you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I have nobody that is shelter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
Sacrament most holy. O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy. O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy. O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment time. United with our brothers and sisters who are following this Mass online, let us say the art of spiritual communion. To be led by Sister Virginia. An art of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive the sacrament and come at you spiritually into my heart. Lord Jesus Christ, I beg you, O oh Lord, to visit the hearts of your children who are following this Mass online, spiritually. At this particular moment, may you, O oh Lord, console them, fill them. May your grace, O oh Lord, gladden their hearts. May your presence in their life be manifested in everything that they do today to the greater glory of your name. Continue. I embrace you as if you are all who you are already here. I rely myself only to you. Never forget to be suspected from you. Amen. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. I want to thank everyone who participated in this this morning liturgy. Whatever you have done for us today in the liturgy, I pray that God Almighty will reward you and bless you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. All of us who are following this Mass online, I pray that God will grant us all our high desires. Those who are new to this platform, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Holy Trinity Adoration TV. And may God bless you as you do so. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessings of the Almighty God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you 
I remain with you both now and forever. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go forth the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Dismiss him, my brother Theophilus. Is not let someone else take it. Thanks be to God. 